Welcome to Smart Villa Life. Here we talk about smart, convenient home automation. Well, today I will talk to you about messaging services. In particular, I uh, focus on the messaging services Telegram, which is the one I use and it has a nice integration to home it. So I will, I will show you that. Why use messaging services in a home automation, you ask? Well, if you're away from your house or you want to be alerted about something that happened, you can trigger something and send a message to your uh, smartphone or to your to another desktop client somewhere if you're on, on work or something like that. Or you can do it the other way around that you want to uh, you want to notify, you want to trigger something, you can just type something in to the Telegram bot and you can have a flow that's triggered when you uh, write something uh, unique and it will trigger a flow and uh, something will happen that you want to be done. In the uh, Homey desktop client, I show you how uh, I have done. It's just, I have used it for very many things and I use it very many flows, but I will show you uh, some of my uh, examples. Here uh, I will log in to my account in my uh, Homey desktop client and it shows the Homey and I will show uh, settings and here are all the apps that I have installed. Here it is. Uh, Telegram bot needs to be, to be here for you to utilize Telegram bot and uh, how you do that is very simple. You basically go to apps.atom.com and you log in your account, the same account that you have logged in on your uh, homey and just press install and it will use your uh, GIF animation and it installs. Uh, yes, and this is the Telegram app. You will basically need to install the app on your smart device and yeah, you can check it out on telegram.org. But uh, we will go into how you will uh, set up Telegram bot yourself first. Uh, Let's see here. Uh, Telegram bot. Here, if you go into Telegram bot in this uh, left pane, uh, you can see that uh, you need to do some things. You, there's a, a, a very casual option or a more advanced option. You can make your own uh, bot basically and connect uh, this Telegram bot to it. Or you can use the default one. Uh, it's up to you basically what you want to do. If you want to use the default one, they simply do in you uh, type uh, this one, uh, which is a connection string that you use to paste into your Telegram basically, and it will uh, identify you to your Telegram account. Then you will simply uh, just have access to posting and uh, such to your home automation. So that's very simple um, and you can try by sending a ping and pong. If you want to do more advanced and uh, create a new bot, you have basic instructions here. I have never considered doing it since I have no issues with uh, just using the default one. Uh, yes, let's go, go into flows. Uh, I will take some example of get not for no action. Uh, it's a flow where uh, prior to this uh, flow uh, that I have the um, the homey has asked me a question on uh, using the homey bot, the Telegram bot, uh, and it, it posed me a question, and I'm expected to answer. And if I post uh, write something that is exactly no, uh, the message is uh, attached here. And if this message that I have sent is no, a lot of things is triggered. So basically, uh, it's and then it tells me back, okay, guests uh, are over, thank you. And uh, yeah, it's posted to the login and so on. This uh, basically reacts to if I what if I typed something specifically and sent to uh, the homie. When it comes to the Telegram, you can also add a new flow if you wanted to test the Telegram client and see how it how it looks when you actually send a message to it. Here I will create a flow called test telegram for the simplicity we will add a button push button Oi, here we go and we change it to push and then we will go to telegram uh, telegram bot and we will add a telegram message to Dennis and we will add message 
testing telegram so let's try that let's try that out uh, shall we so here is the um, uh, desktop uh, client version of telegram it looks just the same uh, if you use it on your phone or your ipad or uh, anything basically you just send, it just works like any message messaging services just it's better according to me but that's how it will taste you like uh, but this is great for the integration with homey so let's try that out so if i push this i need to save first <laughs> of course always need to save first so now we can see here that if i press this one it will oh there we go testing telegram and so that works great and if i for the fun of it i will just add uh, a parameter here a variable where the humi humidity outside which is worthless but just for showing you guys that it works so now it will post the value here um, from a device that i have and and then it will add text and send this message when i push this button push this button so let's try how that works so i push the button and I get 51 and testing telegram. So that works just fine. So that's that's basically how the, the client interacts. And uh, you can write something here, uh, ping, and you get pong back. <laughs> so I thought it actually works. And you get you can see that you can get the SDK uh, version as well. There's a really nice feature you can do uh, called, if you do da dash say, and you write something like, Hello. Hello. And you can do something like big para boom. Big para boom. Yeah, works just fine. That's it actually. That's all the examples I wanted to show you about using a messenger service to your home automation and uh, you can probably do a lot more things and a lot more creative things than i have done and i'll show you right now and i have uh, other ex examples as well but uh, it's a great thing uh, to actually connect to your home automation it just doesn't exist and lives on its own you can interact with it so i think it's a good addition to home automation system to, to have that interaction basically and uh, it's more fun and it also helps with with debugging and so on when you're trying new uh, new flows and so on. So that's that for today. In my next video, I will go in more depth describing this uh, homey desktop client. I will show you in more detail how how it works and how you can do and what different feature it is. I wish I'll show you in my this and pre my previous video show a little bit how you can use it, but. I will go over in more detail in my next video. So the question for today is what messaging service uh, do we want to use in your home automation system? And have you done something really creative with your, uh, using messenger services that you find really neat that you want to share with, uh, with the rest of us? Please let me know down in the comments. If you want more weekly content like this one, uh, please consider subscribing. Thank you.